Hello students, in the last session we learned about the chemical effects of electric current on conducting liquids. In this session we will be learning about a specific example of that, that is electroplating. If you have ever observed a new bicycle, you might have seen with a shining handlebar and steel rims. But if you accidentally scratch it, you will see a not so shiny surface beneath it. Also, you might have seen different ornaments which appear to be made of gold, but when the gold coating disappears, there is silver or some other metal beneath it. In both of these cases, a metal is deposited upon another. Did you ever wonder how one metal can be deposited on another? To understand this, we will see the following activity. To perform the electroplating, we need 9 volt battery, copper sulphate salt, diluted sulfuric acid, 2 copper plates of length 5 cm and width 1 cm, a beaker with water and connecting wires. First prepare copper sulphate solution by dissolving a tablespoonful of copper sulphate salt in distilled water. Add copper sulphate salt and stir well. After preparing a salt solution, add few drops of diluted sulfuric acid to increase the conductivity. Make the circuit as shown in the diagram. Connect the copper wires to the terminals of battery and connect the two copper plates through the wire. Now, carefully immerse the electrodes inside the salt solution. While immersing the electrodes, it should not touch. Allow the current pass through the solution for about 15 minutes. Now, remove the electrodes from the solution and observe them. Can you find the difference between them? Do you find a coating over it? Which color the coating is? The process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material with the help of electricity is known as electroplating. Electroplating is a common application of chemical effects of electric current. Electroplating is widely used in industries for coating metal objects in a thin layer of a different metal. For example, chromium is used in different things such as car parts, bath taps, kitchen gas burners, bicycle handlebars, wheel rims and many others. Chromium has a shiny appearance, it does not corrode and is scratch resistant, but it is very expensive. So, objects are usually made of cheap materials which are coated with a layer of chromium. Similarly, jewellery makers coat gold and silver on less expensive metals. These ornaments might have a appearance of gold and silver, but they are actually very less expensive. Another application is tin cans, which are usually used for storing food. And these tin cans are made by electroplating tin onto iron. As tin is less reactive than iron and the food does not come in contact with this iron, the food does not get spoilt easily. Other famous application of electroplating 
is on bridges and automobiles. Iron is used to provide strength to bridges as well as automobiles, but iron tends to corrode and rust. So, a thin coating of zinc when deposited on iron can protect it from corrosion as well as rusting. But there is a major concern in these electroplating factories that is the disposal of used conducting solution. This used conducting solution is a polluting waste and there are specific guidelines to protect the environment from it. In these lessons, we have learned how to test the conductivity of different materials using different testers. In all these sessions, we have learned how to test conductivity of different materials using different testers. Some solids and liquids are good conductors of electricity and some are poor conductors. Most liquids that conduct electricity are solutions of acids, bases and salts. The passage of an electric current through a conducting liquid causes chemical reactions. The resulting effects are called chemical effects of electric current. The process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating. I hope you have understood all this very well. Take care and stay safe. Thank you.